Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber and if you are just joining us, I hope you stick around, I hope you subscribe. Just know that um, anytime you guys like a video or you subscribe, it just tells me that you're, that you're liking uh, the content that I put out. So it's very important for me to have those metrics um, and then I can know if I need to change directions or not. Um, so yeah, this video today is about how um, becoming the person that you want to be becoming the person that you want to be takes time and discipline and it's not easy um, especially if you have grown up thinking that you need to be good at something right away in order for that to be your thing like you need to be a natural at it Otherwise, if you're not natural, at, if you're not a natural at it, or if you don't grasp it right away, that you should give up because you know that's just not like your thing. Um, I just want you to know that the same thing applies um, to your character. The same thing applies to your personality. Um, if you are a people pleaser, um, if you are a shoplifter, uh, if you are a if you're someone who gets angry easily, if you're someone who, you know, takes offense easily, it can go for anything that deals with your personality and your character. Because after doing something so many times, it basically becomes a part of who you are and how you, um, how you see the world, how you interact with your world, where, you know, for the most part, we are running on aut autopilot so when you do want to make these changes you have to basically overwrite what's already there you have to overwrite the operating system <laughs> so to speak okay so i just want you guys to know not to give up it's okay if it's not easy it's okay if you don't grasp anything right away if you have an interest in changing like your personality and it can even go into like an, a hobby that you want to do having the interest is enough to start and then once if you're not good at it right away you need to think about if it's worth the struggle like how much do you want to example play piano how much do you want to play tennis how much do you want to tell the truth when you're in a position where you prefer to lie, for example, rather than be honest? Like, you have to um, kind of <laughs> make that distinguish. Now, well, actually, that example is better if you if you want to do a hobby, because of course you don't want to waste your time um, doing something that you don't enjoy. But if you're giving up just because you're not good at it right away, that is not a good reason to give up. Definitely put in those 10 hours minimum just to get over that hump of learning something new. So that's regardless to, that's in regards to learning something new. So if you want to stop, you know, lying, for example, you have to think from the person that you want to be, okay? Um, we're not talking about law of attraction here, okay? We we're talking about just thinking from that person that you want to be. Um, and I would also go as far as to say you need to like pray to God to help you overwrite um, that pattern, that record that you're operating from. Um, it's easy to have someone to hold you accountable. And I would say God is definitely the best accountability partner. Um, so definitely think from that person that you want to be. So if you're put in, in the position where you have to either, or you feel like lying, but you're someone who are, who is trying to be honest, definitely do that hard thing and tell the truth and be honest um, to the best of your ability. You know, sometimes, and oh, this reminds me, I do want to get into the, the Ten Commandments about, you know, um, not being a liar <laughs> but uh, we'll get into that um, in a different video but just reminding me that I have to do that um, there will be some instances where you you know in order to say protect someone you have to lie 
or if you're throwing a surprise party, you have to lie. So we're not talking about those. And there's kind of a difference when you have to withhold the truth for like the greater good. But if you are lying and it's gonna um, hurt someone or it's gonna cause someone to make a decision that they would have made differently if they had like known the truth and you're actually harming that person by lying, um, you should really think about um, what, what lying is going to do to not just that person, but your, your soul and your spirit. Um, you, you know, that's just one example. Okay. So that's one. And you can apply that to anything. You can apply that to anger. Sometimes you have to be angry. You know, you have to be angry if someone's hurting your child because you have to protect your child. But, you know, if, if you get super upset at your child, for example, because, you know, their lollipop got stuck in their hair or like they fell asleep you know with the lollipop in their mouth and now it's stuck in their hair and you have to cut their hair or, or chewing gum like something you know so something like that that's not a good reason to get angry okay so we just have to know that there's a time and place for certain things um and a good uh a good indicator of what you should do and what's good and bad is definitely held in the Ten Commandments. Um, genius. I would just say genius. <laughs> okay. Um, there's so much to be taken from the Ten Commandments. Um, and let me see, do I have anything else to add? Yeah, uh, just besides, you know, um, just besides working on yourself and persevering and just being determined and just working through the procrastination, I know I'm trying and I've been very successful at it. I know I've, I've promised, I have promised myself to post a video on YouTube every single day. And since I've made that promise, I've been pretty successful. So I'm going to keep going at it. Um, even, even when I'm like not feeling well, I'm like, you know what? I made this promise. I'm going to do it, you know? So I've been working on that. And that's part of me working on procrastination. Um, I procrastinate I would say when it comes to doing things for myself when it comes to other people I will usually not always but I will usually like I love to help people so I'll jump on that chance to help someone else but when it comes to certain things pertaining to me like prioritizing myself it's a little harder um just because I don't know it could be because like I'm a I'm the eldest child that, that could be why I don't know they have something on my face yeah because like I'm the eldest child so it's kind of ingrained in me to you know put others first and not just put me first but to protect other people so it's not a bad thing but there has to be a balance and I think from me being you know moving to somewhere new um just being alone having that complete alone time by myself there's no one here that I can do anything for. <laughs> it's a very uncomfortable feeling. The only soul or spirit or like entity that I that I have to provide for besides myself and take care of is my dog. And so I'm pouring into him by like, you know, making sure he's comfortable, making sure his food is, you know, uh, up to par, uh, making sure he gets his walks in. Even, and this is going to sound bad, you guys, so do not judge me. <laughs> this is going to sound terrible. But um, when I lived in New York City, I only walked my dog twice a day. And the reason I walked him twice a day is because he only really had to pee like in the morning. And then like when I would uh, get off at work at like 5 or six I would, I would walk him in between there and then i would try to like walk him at like maybe 10 or maybe a little bit earlier just to get that last walk in and he will only trickle he will only pee like a tiny bit um and the reason was is because he didn't drink a lot of water because i give i gave him mostly canned food so he didn't like he wasn't thirsty so he's completely healthy you know i took him to the vet everything was fine but he didn't have he didn't have to pee all the time so like, i only walked him twice and now I walk him three times. And I did just recently change his food, but that was just recently. But I think the reason that I'm walking him three times a day is because I think I need something to care for. <laughs> and so I think when I don't have anything else to do, I'm like, you know, let me walk my dog and, you know, so he can have some extra time outside. 
So it's very interesting. I just learned that, um, like about myself. I always knew that I love caring for people, but when you're alone and you don't have anyone to care for but yourself, it's very <laughs> unnerving. <laughs> and it's really, it's very strange for me to only be taking care, to only be taking care of myself. So interesting. Um, but you learn something new <laughs> every day. Um, so yeah, I'm, I have no choice but to prioritize myself and take care of myself only me I think which is great because now I'm just learning a lot about me and having to figure out you know the things that I want to do and just staying preoccupied it's really a blessing now that I think about it it's such a blessing because um, it's just helping me be balanced it's uncomfortable very uncomfortable um, and sometimes I'm like you know diddling my thumbs like what am I gonna do next but I really needed this time to just have me and just think, um, to have my own have my own opinions that I can hash over, and um, make good decisions because it's only me. So you, I can't like I'm not gonna go out at late at night because I have to make sure that I'm safe and who who's gonna come and rescue me <laughs> if something happens. So you know I have to think about that and just being very mindful about you know who i let into my space who who i give my information to and so um yeah so it, it to me this still ties into like how the person you wants to how the person you want to be takes time and discipline um it definitely takes time because i feel like i am in between my old self or my former self and like my new self and like me sitting here right now almost like doesn't exist which I, of course I exist but I feel like I'm being like stretched and then I and so this is like the old me and this is the new me and like the old me is just like falling away or being stretched and then eventually I don't know I don't know if this is a good analogy but eventually like the rubber band will break and then that part of me will be gone and I'll only be like left with like this new part but not completely leaving it behind the old me. Of course, I'm going to take that with me, but I'm taking with me the growth that I've experienced. But the reason I say stretching is because that's how it feels. I feel like I'm being stretched. At some moments, I feel very uncomfortable. Um, I think I may have a bit of like a people-pleasing um, aspect of my personality that is like totally falling away because... You know when you're when you're somewhere new you can't people please because one it can put you in a very dangerous situation and two I don't know anyone here to you know even work by default and be that kind of person like I really have to like get to know you like you know what's up so people pleasing as far as like making sure my family is good and happy which that will not change don't get me wrong but now I'm, I'm getting the chance to like learn with other people how to have like boundaries and how to like be safe. Whereas before when I'm only surrounded my family and those are mo mainly the people that I prefer to be around and like my best friend, I'm not put in those positions to really have to think about safety and think about boundaries. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, guys, let me know in the comments, please. I hope that you guys watched the video, and if you've and if you've made it this far, please um, just if you want, just you could mention in the comments if you're going through something similar, if you're in like a period of isolation, like I am. Um, do you feel like you're growing? Do you feel like you're stuck? Um, do you want me to talk about um, feeling like you're stuck, or you know? Do you, if you feel like you're in this phase of like growth and like you're scared and it scares you I know for me I I am nervous and I'll say a little frightened because I feel like when you're alone you kind of start to understand and know what you're capable of and also when you're alone you have to like think of things that you're gonna do and think of things that you want to do and like what you're interested in and so you're like forced to change and I think it's a total it's a total good thing it's totally a good thing it's a blessing as long as you like grab it 
with both of your hands and you decide like not to let go to the stretching and to the growth like hold on to it even if it's super uncomfortable like sometimes i think to myself oh my god i can't believe i'm all the way down here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you know but it's all it's all good um i'm gonna what's that take it by is it take it by the horns there's some saying where you take it uh, no, I think it's grab it by the B-A-L-L-S. I don't know. Anyway, whatever, guys. Um, bye. I hope you guys got something from this. Love you. Bye.